So in today's session, I get to explain one of the applications of electrostatics. And one of them is electrostatic paint spraying. Now, it's a very simple concept. Right here, what we are seeing is just a simple diagram with what we may call a spray gun. So in, the, in other words, the person that is going to spray is going to handle this like he's handling a gun. And uh, as they are spraying, these dotted lines you're seeing are simply our spray particles or the paint. And this is the object that is being sprayed with paint. So now what happens is that um, right here at the outlet of this uh, spray gun is what we call an atomizer. In other words, what it does is that as the paint comes through here, it makes sure that as it's moving out, it is atomized. So as this paint is atomized as it moves out of the spray gun, um, it is charged by friction. So it is charged and as it is charged, let's say it is charged positively as it is moving out of this spray gun. The object that is being painted is connected to the opposite charge. In this case here, we connect this to a negative electrode. So if this object that is being sprayed is connected to the negative or it is earthed and this is positively charged, uh, what happens is that these particles, as they come out being positively charged, they are attracted to the object. And uh, in so doing, you will find that even as you're spraying, if there is any paint that is even going astray, it is attracted to this object because this object is negatively charged. And we know that one of the laws of electrostatics is that, you know, unlike charges will attract. This kind of setup ensures that there is minimal wastage of paint as the spraying is going on. So... To sum this all up, that is for those that are doing their exams and you have been asked to describe how electrostatic spraying works, you can simply say that as the spray goes through the atomizer, the droplets get charged by friction. And of course, uh, the similar charges on the droplets, these, because these ones are positively charged, because they are similar charges, there will be repulsion in here and this repulsion will make, you know, the particles to spread out. So as these particles are spread out, the surface that is being sprayed, which is this one right here, is connected to an electrode of positive charge. Uh, in, or we can say this surface is earthed. That is if whatever is coming out here is positively charged, it means that this one will be earthed so that it is negatively charged. Or we shall just say it is connected to an electrode of opposite charge. The paint droplets will get attracted to the surface and they will be able to reach remote areas. Now, this is not only uh, used in paint, but even when they are, let's say, there is need to spray maybe, you know, these cleaning services and you need to spray a certain surface during cleaning. Maybe you're spraying it with detergent. The same application can still be used. So that's it. That is how electrostatics is applied in paint spraying.